At the time of writing this script, the 4th of July, aka Freedom Beer Burgers and Titties Day, has passed. And on Twitter, as always, the salt fucking flowed. British Twitter users took this day to bash the fuck out of the United States for celebrating our conquest over indigenous people or some retarded shit like that. Well, ain't that the pot calling the fucking kettle black since those hypocritical bastards did that shit for a lot longer and did it a lot more than we ever did. But you know, let's not talk about that. It's only bad when America does it. But you want us to stop celebrating the 4th of July? Okay, I will. Because it shouldn't just be a day for celebrating our victory against the crown. Let's center the entire month of July around highlighting and celebrating the days of independence from the United Kingdom around the world. Is that inclusive enough for you redcoats watching this? Happy Fuck Britain Month, everybody! Let's take a look at some key dates to celebrate. First of all, we got the most obvious one, being July 4th, because when I said I'd stop celebrating it, surprise, I fucking lied. We're great, and we don't waste our time dwelling on bad shit our ancestors did centuries ago, as if we did that shit. Get fucked, tea sipper. Three days before that, we have Canada's Independence Day on the 1st of July. Our annoying whiny-ass neighbors to the north established their dominion in 1867 and finally told the crown to go fuck itself on April 17th, 1982. Wait, they only officially gained independence 39 years ago? <laughs> no wonder Canadians are considered to be pussies. Skip ahead to July 10th, and we celebrate Independence Day for the Bahamas. They got their freedom in 1973, and pretty much kept to themselves since. Like, seriously, name something other than who let the dogs out that came from the Bahamas. I I'll wait. July 26th, 1965, was the date where Maldives got their independence. It seemed that the biggest L that Britain took was in 1776, obviously, but they sure as shit took the most L's in the 20th century when a good chunk of their power started slipping through their fingers. Now, there were more countries and territories that, in the month of July, told the Brits to kiss the dirtiest part of their asses, but these were a few to note in particular. And you know what? You guys are absolutely 100% right. Independence Day shouldn't be celebrated on the 4th. It should be celebrated all fucking month because July was the month where many countries and territories shook off that Union Jack flag-waving parasite that was holding them down. And you want to know the best part of it? I have reason to believe that this is nothing but projection on their part. You see, in the modern day, it seems you can't take a piss anymore in the UK without needing a fucking license for it. People are getting locked in jail and fined out the ass for saying offensive shit on the internet, all because a few puss cakes got their precious little feelings hurt. Anyone who isn't a total fucking bootlicker will look at the Count Dankula case and see that this is a major violation of human rights. And it's not just jokes, either. Some people are getting locked up for criticizing political officials as well. Yeah, your country is so much better than ours, you fucking dipshits. With Article 13, mass stabbings, daily acid attacks, and people's freedoms being taken away, who wouldn't want to live in the United fucking Kingdom? Sounds like an authoritarian's dream home right about now. But I know what you're gonna say next. At least we don't get shot doing our maths in school. Cheeky wanker Bobby in it bruv beans on toast. In conclusion, get fucked Britain. I wait for the day that Ireland and Scotland finally grow a pair and declare independence themselves. And on top of that, every July 4th, you queen-worshipping pansies can continue to take this star-spangled L. I'm Mike Osiris, and I'm going back under.
Subscribe to my Go series. For us, I will use the world to freeze time and steal a bitch. See you in the next video, you pathetic waste of space.